What's up guys? Today's video is going to be about the push-up, the dreaded push-up. So most of the times when I talk to my members and I talk to people in general, the push-up is one of those things where it instantly sparks, I hate push-ups, I hate push-ups. And I hate to break it to you, but it's probably because you suck at them. Now, I'm not saying you suck, you don't suck as a person, but if that kind of offends you or makes you feel like, oh, listen, do you practice push-ups all the time? Do you build strength to get better at a push-up? then you probably suck at them. And we are supposed to suck at things that we don't practice at most of the time. I mean, if you're really good at something that you've never practiced before, then bless your little heart. But as far as push-ups are concerned, they're a very humbling movement because it's just you pushing yourself off of the ground. So when you can't do that, you kind of go like, mm, well, that's humbling. <laughs> I should be able to do that. In your mind, you're going, I should be able to. I give you a barbell that's got 200 pounds on it. You look at that and you say, Nah, I can't do that. And I'm okay with that. Never done it before. I tell you to get on the floor and push yourself off of the floor, doing it the way I ask you to do it. And you can't do it. And it's all of a sudden you go, I should be able to do that. It's that weird, like ego. I should be able to thing. The truth is it's got to be built from the foundation, just like that 200 pound back squat. So in this video, we are going to go over what you should be focused on in a push up, uh, what we're looking for in a proper push up, and how not to do a push up. You fail me, you fail me. That's a little hint. <laughs> I'll see you guys in a minute. All right, guys, first things first, talking about the push-up. If your plank position is not where it should be and as strong as you would like it to be, that's where you guys are going to start with a push-up, okay? When it comes to a plank and it comes to your belly being braced and your booty being tight, right? We should never break in a push-up. And what I mean by that is when you see people go down into a push-up, and they come down and they press up and they break in the middle and then they follow with their butt. One, that is not a push up, okay? That's like a seal stretch into a butt lift. But two, they are not strengthening. One of the main components of what needs to happen in a push up is that plank position, okay? For a push up to be done properly, you have got to be locked out at the top, the chest and the booty fall at the same time, chest touches the floor, and then both rise at the same time, okay? Example, here rise and fall. That was the opposite. I'm trying to see if you're awake. <laughs> now, when it comes to arm position in the push up in the push up, okay? You guys are looking for a big pinch in the back of your shoulders. So, first things first, you're going to put your hands out in front of you, real weird like this, and you're going to drop your shoulders. So, you're never going to be hunched up or even let those suckers creep, okay? Drop them down. And I want you guys to imagine that there's something in between my hands or your hands now, and that you are trying to squeeze it together, but you're not touching your hands together, okay? They're not allowed to move as far as in or out, but you're putting tension here. Now, imagine that being on the floor. You're on the floor, okay? The floor is underneath of your hands, and you guys are actively squeezing the floor with your hands, turning on pec, turning on lat, getting this stuff ready to go, okay? That's the first thing. Now, as we descend into the push-up, you guys are going to keep your chin elevated slightly. Now, I don't mean crane your neck up, but common misconception, or I should say common fault that I see, is people will stare at the floor, and as they go down into their push-up, they'll start to look at their target, okay? Shoulders fall forward, shit just starts to get out of whack. Keep your eyes about a foot and a half in front of you and stare at the floor, as weird as that is, okay? You're gonna wanna look down, don't do it. Stare out there, okay? Third thing, I don't know if this is the third thing or the fourth thing, but this is really important. When you go to descend to the bottom, and I'm gonna show you modifications to this too, you are not to let your elbows come out like this. No, 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 okay? I know you see people do it that way, and you're from now on gonna be like, we don't do it that way. No, we don't do it that way. We do it this way. <laughs> Squeezing, okay, everything's nice and tight. Elbows travel closer to the body. We big pinch in the back, all right? And then we push. We come back, and then we push. We do not do this, okay? Hang in there with me and I will show you some modifications to build you in the push-up and then we'll do a little workout. Okay, push-up modifications. The first one starts on the wall, believe it or not. You have no business being on the floor if you cannot control what you're doing yet. And this is where we start. Figure out where we're pushing from. Hands on the wall just like we talked about, okay? You guys are going to squeeze the wall a little bit. We're gonna take a step back, 
squeeze my butt, put a little tension in the belly. We're gonna descend to my nose and we're gonna push out. Descend, push out. The whole time, focused on pinching my shoulder blades in the back and keeping my belly and my butt rising and falling at the same time, okay? Modification number two, with the chair. Grab a chair. This is a little bit harder of a mod, but that's okay. Gotta, gotta play with it to see where you're at, okay? Same rules apply. So you guys are going to squeeze your chair, legs come out, stare at the back of the chair, big pinch in the back, the elbows stay traveling closer to the body, and up. Third would be your knees. So if you guys are feeling daring, feeling with it, hop to the knees, okay? Everything nice and tight, belly tight, booty tight. Big pinch in the back and up. Do not let that butt and that belly go soft. I know it's gonna to want to, I know it's gonna feel easier. All right, gang, Fight for that. the workout portion of the video. We are going to do a six minute workout, okay? Six minutes, that's it, six minutes. If you don't have six minutes, you're lying. So get your ass up and work out for six minutes, okay? What we're gonna do at the top of every minute, three, two, one, go. We're going to do five push push-ups and then five reverse lunges, okay? I love lunges, they turn your booty on. If you're unsure about how to do a lunge, go to the other video, check that out, lunge mechanics, okay? So for six minutes, you guys have got to do Five push up, five lunge, and then we rest for the rest of the minute, okay? I'm gonna play some music during this. Um, I'm like edit that in so that you guys don't have to hear me breathing the entire time. Uh, if you like me talking better than the music, you can let me know, but I'm just gonna try that out for something different, okay? 10 seconds, you've got five push ups, however you choose to do them, and then five reverse lunge. Are you ready? Two, one, and go. So maybe I'll talk during this because I do love coaching and it's only six minutes, so you can stay me for that long. If you are getting caught up, right now we're at the 25 second mark. You are resting for the rest of the minute, okay? It's an EMOM, every minute on the minute. We're going five and five. If you guys are getting caught up, up into that, like going right up until the buzzer, I say three, two, one, go. Modify your push-ups or shorten the distance that you guys are um, lunging, okay? Remember, the lunge is only as good as your booty's turned on, so do not make it this nice forward, ah! Nope, not where we want to. Nice big step back, dip, up, squeeze your right knee, okay? Five seconds, we're going five and five. Three, two, one, here we go. Make sure those elbows are traveling back. Squeeze your butt. Find your balance before you go into that lunge, okay? put my hands out like this. I'm a very peaceful person. My husband will tell you. <laughs> Seriously though, I don't know why my hands always go into that prayer kind of thing, but they do. I do love everybody. 30 seconds. All right, finish up where you are. When it comes to imams and doing everything on the minute, it's kind of cool because it gives you a certain amount of time to do it, but then you have to rest. So it's like time to rest and time to work, which is fun to me. And it will be fun to you if you keep doing it, okay? Five seconds. Here we go. We're already, we're already two minutes in, guys, almost. All right, set yourself back. Three, two, one. Here we go. If they start to slow down as you guys go through, it's perfectly fine. Slow the reps down a little bit, okay? If you started on the floor, Oh shit, this is not working anymore. Go to the wall. No shame in uh, scaling down your movements as you go because the body's starting to get fatigued. You're starting to get a little sloppy with it, okay? And when I say words like sloppy or lazy or anything like that, I don't mean you, okay? I don't really even know you like that. I just mean the body wants to cheat in certain ways and it's your job to make it not cheat, okay? The belly wants to turn off, the butt wants to turn off, that kind of thing. And it's your job to make it stay engaged. Only you can do it. Only you can do it. Here we go. Five and five, two, one, go. Keep your head up, keep your elbow 
toes traveling backward. Take a deep breath, drop your shoulders. And squeeze. Remember, we're looking for a center descend when it comes to the lunge. Do not push yourself forward, okay? I think that was fine. I'm going to give you a bonus one. You can never lose count. Just do one more, right? <laughs> All right, guys, we've got, what, two rounds left and then we're done, okay? 10 reps total, so you can handle that. 15 seconds, finish up the round that you are on, okay? Never sacrifice how you are moving for speed, okay? You guys are going to focus on how you're moving. You'll just get faster because you'll get better at it and get stronger. Don't go the other way around, otherwise they always feel kind of shitty, okay? Two, one, here we go. Five push-ups. If you don't make it down to that box, or down to the wall, I still don't want your elbows to be flaring. Sit them back. Big pinch, big squeeze in the front. Okay? There we go. Lunges. Keep that whole foot in the front, on the ground. Squeeze your butt right at the top. Keep that sucker squeeze the entire time. Remember, you're not sucking the belly in, okay? Pushing out a little bit, like someone's gonna come up and pop you in the gut. Push. 20 seconds. Last round, guys. Last round. You did it, you did it. Look, you had six minutes. You did it. Here we go, 10 seconds. Five and five. Let's try to make them look like the first ones. Ready? Tension in the belly. Here we go, two, one, go. Nice and locked out at the top, okay? That means straight arm at the top. Good job. Position to the lunges when you're ready. Find the balance. If you guys do go all the way down to the floor with these, I do not ever want you to see your knee crashing to the floor. You should hover just above a little kiss to the floor, okay? Never crashing. All right, you got 20 seconds to complete. 20 seconds, 20 seconds. Stay in it. 15 seconds. Hang in there, hang in there. Don't rush it. 10 seconds. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. And that's it. Well done, guys. Thanks for joining me. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, work that push-up. And now when you see people do crappy push-ups, if they know better and that do, they're not doing better, that's one thing. But if they don't know any better, teach them. Now you know. See ya.